Hey, this is David from FatCat Apps, and this is a quick walkthrough of our latest plugin, Easy Opt-ins. So I'll just show you how um, you can set up a nice looking sidebar opt-in uh, form really, really quickly and easily. So you're gonna click on add new and give it a name. And here we've got this live preview, but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna um, integrate the plugin with your mailing list provider. In this case, um, we've got MailChimp. And you're just gonna click on this link here, sign into your account, and you're gonna see the API key here. So you just want to copy the key, go back to the form and paste it in this field. And what we're doing now is we're automatically pulling um, the lists from your MailChimp account and you can choose which list you want to subscribe to. We've got a list set up here called Easy Opt-ins Test, which we're gonna use. And you can also choose between single and double opt-in. Double opt-in basically means that the person is going to get an email confirmation uh, in which they have to click on a link. Um, so let's set it to no. Um, after integrating with MailChimp, you also want to um, set up a thank you page. Um, so this is compulsory, and the reason we did it is that it's best practice to use a thank you page. Um, it's just better feedback for the user to um, to get like a new page where you basically tell them thanks for signing up, check your email inbox. If you don't have a thank you page, you just wanna you know, go to pages, add new, and let's call it thank you. Thanks for signing up, you might want to, you know, add a little bit more text, but I think this is enough for demonstration purposes. Click save here. So the thank you page is going to be updated. And you can also see the plugin tells you that you haven't selected a thank you page yet, um, which you need to do in order to publish it. So I'm just gonna go here. I've got this one, thank you. Um, and that's it, the setup is complete. And all you have to do now is to customize the text and the colors to your liking. So for example, we can call this join the list. And as you can see, you can do all kinds of stuff here. You can change like the font size and you can, you know, make it underline or italics, um, change the colors. And uh, you can do that to every element you can see here. So all you have to do is to click on it and you know, you, you, can, you can fully customize it to your liking. Um, here the name field, for example, you can hide, um, so it's not going to display. You can change the button colors, um, all kinds of stuff. So I think that's pretty cool and that should just make it really easy to get something that looks nice uh, and works with your site really, really fast. But we're just going to leave it at that and hit save form. And now we are ready to deploy the form on our site. And in order to do that, since this is a widget, you wanna go to appearance widgets and um, here we've already added the widget to the, you would have to usually uh, find it here and drag it in here, but we've already got it. So take the opt-in widget and choose whichever form you have. And then we're going to go to the site. Let's just see if this actually worked. So we're just gonna check the list here in MailChimp. We've got the easy opt-ins test list and here's the new user. Um, it might just take um, like a minute or two for it to show up in the MailChimp backend when you're testing that. Uh, the plugin is under active development and we'll be adding some more features soon, but I'm also really interested in what you think of the plugin and how you think it could improve. So um, feel free to leave a comment at the bottom of this post. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.